Hey guys, thanks for joining me. It's a cool rainy spring day. Thought I would uh, pull out the DATS version 2 audio test system. It's my understanding the uh, DATS version 2 that I'm uh, using here has been discontinued and replaced with version 3. But uh, another few uses of the uh, DATS system I thought I would share so one use of the uh, DATS version 2, it's kind of interesting, I'm going to take a power transformer and somewhat reverse engineer it, extrapolate what the high voltage uh, number of terms would be in addition to the uh, primary terms and the uh, secondary terms also for the 6.3 and 5 volt winding just using the uh, DATS system and some simple math. First thing I want to do is hook up the test leads for the DATS unit across the entire secondary high voltage winding you can see attached here. And I'm going to short out the primary winding. And what we can do is determine what the leakage impedance is of the transformer. Do some quick math. I'll just go here to impedance sweep. And I'm going to move my marker down to around uh, 60 hertz or so. Okay, close enough there. And that may be hard to see. And I'm going to take note of the ohms. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, now I'm going to reverse the leads. And go to the primary side. And I'm going to take my high voltage winding and short it and actually just repeat the test. And take note again of the impedance of what 10.15 ohms. We'll plug those numbers into the calculator. So again, as you can see on the screen, I'm showing the steps that I took. And you can see the math below for a measurement early on. And how to extrapolate the uh, number of turns and the voltage itself. You will notice I used a 10% uh, overhead for the 5 volt and 6.3 volt winding to calculate the number of turns. In most cases, that would be adjusted down just a bit, somewhere maybe between uh, 5 and 8%. So here we'll look at the leakage inductance mode for a output transformer. You can see this is universal. Same principle. I'll go across the entire primary winding. Again, brown to blue for this particular one. I'm going to uh, short out the secondary. In this case, I'm just uh, shorting between uh, the tap points one and two for the secondary. Go over again, run an impedance sweep. In this case, I'm in the audio range, so I'll set this up and look at somewhere around one kilohertz. And if it's showing up, uh, what, 3454? Zoom in on that just a bit. So we can take note of that number. You can see I'll remove the uh, short from the secondary. Just move the uh, leads back over to uh, the one and two position on the transformer on the secondary side. And again, in this case, I'll short the primary. I'll repeat the impedance sweep. We'll take note of that number as well, 0 0.192 ohms. And we'll refer back again to my notes from the previous measurement. So as you can see, we'll take the square root of the first measurement I made, divide that by the second measurement, and that will give us the turns ratio for the output transformer for that particular tap location. 
Let's look at a loudspeaker now that has the output transformer attached to it and look at the reflected impedance back to the primary side. And the third test that we'll run, I've got an old loudspeaker that uh, came out of a receiver. It needs to be uh, recombed at some point and or repaired. The output transformer is attached. I want to see what the reflected impedance would be back to the output tube. I'm going to just go across the entire primary winding. Make sure I don't have the leads shorted. Run an impedance sweep again. And you can see at 1 kilohertz, we're up around um, 2500 from uh, this distance back, if my uh, eyes can see that correctly. Again, that would be the reflected impedance back to the output tube. Now knowing the reflected impedance off of the transformer back again to the uh, voice coil itself, we can go to the tube manual, pull the data sheet, find out again which tube has a load resistance close to that 2500 in this case. This came from a receiver using a 50B5 output power tube, so you can see that's a great match in this particular setup. So. The loudspeaker uh, voice coil impedance again tied back to the output transformer. The turns ratio is correct again to give us the reflected impedance just north of 2500 ohms, which would be the great match for the 50B5. Plus or minus uh, 10%. I've uh, went as high as 25% for an old AM receiver and really don't know if my ears could tell the difference. Appreciate you guys uh, watching. Hope you found this helpful. Everyone out there, uh, take care. Enjoy the beautiful uh, spring weather. Thanks again for watching.